everyone thank you so much for tuning back to urban tropical my name is raj and today we are going to talk about another exotic plant the name is ricinus so we are going to talk how to grow it from the seed before i dive into it i really want to mention that this plant is very toxic all parts of this plant are very toxic if you think you will have anyone in the garden who could chew on this plant please think that before you decide to go for it so i have got young kids I always let them know which plants are toxic, not to touch or not even go near them. So it's all about if you think you can manage that. So once you have established that, let's dive into it. So these plants, you can grow them from the seeds. Seeds are so widely available on Amazon, eBay, children's seeds, jungle seeds, you name it. It's so easily available. So when you are exploring the website, you can check, okay, do I want a more vigorous variety? compact variety so there are a few variations available i have decided to go for new zealand purple variety because i love purple foliage so once you have got your seeds this is how they're going to look they look absolutely amazing again they are poisonous so please be careful there so in order to sow them the first thing we do is we soak them in luke water what it does it breaks the dormancy and it makes it much more easier to germinate so you can soak it really for 24 hours 48 hours even 72 hours it's fine so the bean starts to sprout the more it sprouts that means the easier it's going to germinate so here i have soaked personally for 48 hours not on a purpose i just forgot to do it the next day so i didn't see any harm in there so in order to sow you think okay what kind of a compost will i need so you can use seedling compost, you can use garden compost, or you can use coconut coir. I have ended up using coconut coir because I didn't want to bring garden compost indoors due to the insects and being in my home. So if you are have a garden, if you have a, a greenhouse, you are fine, or you can have a fresh bag of compost and you pour it in a tray. So the reason is I am saying you can use any compost seedling compost is suitable for seeds because this seed is a giant bean the normal garden compost is not going to burn it that's the whole point that we use seedling compost to avoid the burning process so this time any kind of compost is absolutely fine you don't have to really go out and just get the seedling compost so we are good there now you think okay what kind of container will i use and how deep do i need to sow so as a rule of thumb you look at the depth of your seed and you decide okay that's how much down i need to go in terms of sowing it and you have done that and in terms of which way up or down these seeds they find its way always up so you can i have done it sideways upside down it works either way it doesn't really matter so really easy going you can just put them in around a centimeter or two deep down into your pot or in your tray cover it with the soil or the compost you are using so you can put the seeds down in your tray or in individual pots once you have done that it's an optional that you can cover it with the lid or with the cling film to increase the humidity and the only key thing to keep in mind is the warmth because i have done it in the month of february the soil is not that warm so i have put it near the radiator to increase the warmth that will enhance the germination process and i will have a more successful rate so if you are doing it outdoors when in around april time the soil is warm as it is so you can do it direct into the soil you're good to go if you have a greenhouse you're fine if you have a heated tray you are fine the key things comes in is once it has germinated it does need a flood of light otherwise it starts to go leggy and um, so in order to avoid that don't sow it too early so for example this one in a week or two is going to be ready to be planted outside so when do you really plant it outside it all depends on the frost so this plant is hardy to five degrees once i hit the frost and it's outside it's going to die so i have to wait for the last frost harden the plant outside and plant it in terms of leaves these ones are nothing like riciness because they are not the true leaves it's going to get true leaves soon which will look like riciness and they already look actually a bit purplish so i can't wait for it to give me this purple foliage in my garden 
and in terms of location they are exotic plants they love sun they love water and they love a free draining soil at the same time so what i do is i give it a lot of a farmyard manure because that has all the richness of the properties a plant can have at the same time aids drainage at the same time it retains moisture so it's just a all around your farmyard manure it's best practice to top up your borders every single spring or late autumn with the farmyard manure to give it extra nutrition and prepare it for the next year. So I'm going to give it a lot of sun to have this beautiful foliage color and I'm really excited and I really hope that it does well. In terms of size, this one is quite compact variety, it only goes up to six foot tall. So I'm really happy for that because I didn't want something so huge. I'm already struggling with the space to be honest. And I really hope that it was useful. Please share your comments and thank you so much. Bye.